Uh, Lloydie, thanks for thanks for coming to have a have a chat with us. Um, you, your footy story is unique in that you started quite late. Was the did you have the drive and ambition? Like, did you, did you think you could make it? Always. Um, yeah, I guess so. I, it probably goes in stages. I think my career. So I didn't start to. I was pretty much 23, and yep. I was going sort of up levels in football. And then once you get drafted, you sort of feel like you made it then. And then yep. you come into the club, you realise you've got so much hard work to do yep. and to get that first game. And yep. then you sort of think, oh, I've played a game and. And you want more and more and, and more. Like, so, almost like the ambition yeah. so, lifts. I certainly don't think I've made it yet anyway. Yeah. So you get drafted at the Tigers, you make a big splash, you have a massive debut, you have you have five years there during a time, you know, that the club wins a flag. How do you kind of when you look back on, on that five years, what what sort of what does it sort of conjure up for you? I guess you just look back and realise how quick it goes yeah. from getting drafted, the initial excitement playing your first game, playing a pre-season game even, and um, yeah, I just, I look back on fond memories, particularly the last couple of years there. And when did you, when did your mind start to sort of think about other opportunities and when did the dogs start to sort of court you? Um, I sort of probably started thinking halfway through the year, if I'm being honest, I think. Yeah. Um, I was battling a little bit, um, on the mental side of things, just the up and downs of emotions and yeah. sort of getting told you're, you're playing really good footy but you're out and then you, you want to be really, you, I was really invested yeah. into playing so I think it was time to, just to move on. Did clubs did clubs come sort of chasing you or was it, or was it the dogs um, kind of were the, the ones that allowed us? The good thing about my um, trade here was it was all going to be relatively easy for me, like Richmond yeah. were um, in good faith, and I wanted to come here. Yeah, they wanted me here, and um, we got it done relatively early in the scheme of things yeah. on a sort of handshake deal. Well, what was it like when you first first arrived? Was it sort of the first day at school? No, nah, it was exactly like the first day at school. I was in the toilet cubicle about <laughs> three or four times, I think, and then just hiding out on my phone. Did um, you know anyone here? I knew. I went to school with Easton, oh, right, so that was right, good, yeah. and then. Oh, that, you're in with the skipper, that, yeah. that helps. <laughs> that, was, that was a pretty easy transition, but yeah. no, I didn't really know anyone. Like, it's funny, you usually know sort of two or three at least from yeah. off field, but I didn't really know anyone. But the young group and um, the character of the guys here, yeah. they make you feel so included. Was the actual trade process, was it kind of, was it emotionally draining? Yeah, it was. I think, because we were, we were trying to win another flag at the time as yeah. well, while it was all going on. So. I was, the good thing that I had, I was focusing on um, football and trying to get a game and right. so once that sort of happened and took place, the deal was almost done, so yeah, right. I actually went into my uh, exit interview not knowing uh, that Dimmer or anyone knew, but as soon as I walked in, I was a little bit hungover and Dimmer's <laughs> like, the bloody Bulldogs, hey, well. oh, <laughs> and wow. I, just, I went silent yeah, <laughs> and right. he's like, nah, it's alright. Really credit to Richmond as well for um, yeah. allowing it to happen so easily and wanting the best for me. Yeah. Um, yeah. It has, it, has it caught you off guard how quickly you've felt at home here at the Bulldogs? I mean, is this is this your best year of AFL footy? Oh, I think so, without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, it has. As I said, the year's gone so quickly. Yeah. And I think if you said to me at the start of the year, I'd play every game and then we'd be yeah. playing in the first final in yeah. September, I mean, I would have. I would have yeah. laughed. Yes, thank you. Yeah, right. yes, thank you. I'll take I'll that. I'll take that. Yeah. Yes, thank I'll you. give you Put me a few down, dollars. Put S boy down for one of those. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, like, it's just been um, amazing so far. And yeah. As I said, the inclusiveness and to get yeah. to this point, we're really building something pretty special, I think.